Well, you guys, so we're in early August here. Do an update on the tomatoes. You can see this is our control, and she gave us this many ripe tomatoes, too. And um, like last time, she's starting to die back. She does have a few tomatoes that are coming on to still ripen. Our commercial is the tomato giver champion right now, but it is also starting um, to want to die back. I'm keeping up with trimming as best I can, and um, I think, you know, some, a lot of tomatoes almost ripe, still some more in the back. Uh, I think it's reached its full potential for height growth. Uh, I don't see any more blooms on it, so I think um, it's just going to finish ripening up, you know, these little babies and stuff, and then um, we're going to go ahead and probably it'll die back, but we'll see. You know, you never know. Here's the uh, just plain urine one with a good second place. I'm tracking these, by the way. I'm picking more often than I'm showing you. Um, but this is pretty representative of what's going on. The control's barely giving anything. The commercial's producing the most with the urine second. And then the urine with wood ash behind that. But what I'm seeing is that the uh, this is the urine. These plants I've had to tie up pretty well. But you can see I'm still getting blossoms, we're still getting growth, still getting a lot of green, and this plant is several inches taller than that plant is. And then the urine, this has just kind of escaped its bounds, urine with wood ash also, still blossoming, still nice and green, um, still growing, and we've got, uh, those are almost ripe, but I just didn't pick them because they weren't quite, but I have a lot more blossoms on these uh, and this is going to continue to grow and produce. We do have some dieback, you know, but that happens, right? That happens with tomatoes. Once they get taller, the bottom starts to die, or the bottom leaves do, so we just trim them off and keep them trimmed up. So, yeah, so far, I think, uh, again, the commercial's the number one producer to date, with urine and wood ash being pretty close together, but um, I think these plants are going to far outlive these two, but we'll see. All right, onward. Hey guys, so now we're over at the tomatillos. Now remember, tomatillos don't all ripen at the same time, much like tomatoes, so uh, we're going to look at how much we've picked, kind of in line with the tomatoes, but these will continue to uh, blossom and bloom, grow and make fruit for a while. Uh, unfortunately, I've had to put these in the shaded area because it's been so freaking hot, and uh, these two are especially close, so I'm gonna have to do some work separating them for you to see. This first one, here's the fruit I picked today, and it is the control. You can see it. this is its own plant. Um, it is starting to die back. Uh, but we do have some blossoms still, but overall it's definitely the runt of the family. Here is the commercial, uh, doing really well with fruit. That's the uh, urine, urine with wood ash. And overall the plant looks good, but let me show you something. I'm going to pull this back so you can see this is actually that plant. Look how big the urine alone is and how many blossoms and things it has on it, how much fruit still yet to go. So this plant itself is nearing the end of its life cycle. Um, th there's still fruit on here to pick. Uh, there are some blooms. There's a little bloom right there. Um, but it is definitely the third in size. All th or, yeah, the third in size, but it's producing the best right now, but we'll keep up to date on that. The uh, urine by itself seems to be, I mean, by far has the most fruit on it right now. It's the biggest. It's also the most top heavy. I actually had to tie it off to these sunflowers to keep it here, and it's still wanting to move out of its b bonds, but where I am, it shades these plants, so I have to keep them here, and you can tell by the urine with wood ash, I haven't 
um, been able to successfully tie this up without limbs starting to break. Um, but you can see I'm getting curling because of the heat. But it's a fighter. I mean, these are all unblossom blossoms. I still have lots of fruit on here, and it is just rangy and getting really super wide. Although we've only had a couple uh, pickable tomatillos. So, well, actually, I take that back. There's one right here in front of my face. So it's coming on. So anyway, there's the uh, tomatillo so far. Here are the plants, and yeah, let's go look at the peppers. Alright, the peppers are not ready to pick yet, so I won't be picking them. We'll just have to look at them. But again, here's my control, and you can see the green is kind of yellow compared to the other plants. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six peppers. Um, no more fruit, but we have some small leaves, so we might get some blossoms. But that's what that looks like. This is the commercial. We have quite a few peppers on here coming up. And even, oh, that's a dried up blossom due to the heat. But it seems like, yeah, there's another one down in here. Um, another one here. And I've got these shaded by these sunflowers as well. Great work on the sunflowers. Uh, and it, this green, although is much greener than this, it's not quite as green as its neighbor. And this is the urine plant. We have lots of peppers in here as well. Still getting nice uh, blossoms all over. Another one back here. So it's looking very nice. And then the urine with wood ash. So the tallest. The commercial is almost as tall as the urine, but the urine is just, it's tall, 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 tall. Right here, it's like we got a skinny little mini and a skinny mini there. But, you know, we'll see when, when the fruit comes. But this one looks far healthier to me than, than this one does. Well, not far healthier. It looks healthier. But I'd say either one of these methods, commercial urine or, or commercial fertilizer or urine or urine with wood ash, any one of these, obviously is better than the control which is nothing but love and water all right and then finally with wood ash people kept telling me stop with the urine stop with the wood ash you're gonna stop the plant from blossoming and fruiting it's not gonna work <laughs> really really you can tell with the tomatoes and all the other plants um, it's continuing to be beneficial, so I'm going to continue to do it. So anyway, this is beginning of August, first week of August, and we'll check back um, later. Thanks. Hi, you guys. So here we are today to check out urine. Urine versus everything. 2021 challenge. Uh, this is the last episode for Sep or, uh, August, and then we'll roll into September. So wanted to show you my tomatillos here then we'll move to the tomatoes and the peppers as usual so I have started measuring how much fruit I'm getting off of each bush and just have some comments and I'll go over them pretty quickly with you here so well, let me just get set up all right so here our first plant here is our control plant and this is what I picked off our control plant today. I have been picking and not filming, so I'll show you the list at the end of this uh, season to show you how much I've picked. But when I pick off one plant, I go through all the plants to see what's ready and to pick from there. So as before, you can see this is the control, kind of lackluster, just um, oh, overall, she's just not doing the best in the world. And I just... I. Part of me just wants to fertilize her so bad, but can't do that. So I looked through and picked off what was ready. Some of these definitely aren't. So we'll leave those on. No further blossoms. I'm not, oh, no, wait, there's a blossom down here. So we are seeing some. And uh, yeah, we'll go. All right, let's take a look at these tomatoes. Did you know potatoes bloom? They do. That's a potato. Somehow it got in there. All right, so here's our control plant. It is like usual. It's struggling. It's trying to uh, 
trying to grow. Um, it's not very tall. I think this is the tallest area. And it's starting to yellow out quite a bit. Um, I only have a little bit of fruit on it, and that's been the case the whole time. So here's some more. Um, let's see, no blossoms. Oh, wait, no, take that back. Blossoms at the top. So we'll continue to care for this plant and see how she performs. So, so far, as expected, we'll say that. Here is our commercial plant. There is a lot of yellowing going on in here, and I really should be picking all of this off, which I will do, and get rid of it. You want to make sure your plants don't have yellowing or browning of the leaves. If they do, the plant's going to put a lot of energy into repairing itself and not much energy into producing blooms or fruit. So we don't want that to happen. Uh, anyway, this is the control plant. It looks pretty good, again, except for this yellowing. Pretty tall and a, a lot bushier, right, than our control here. And this is some kale that just came up, so that's what that's about. We do have a good amount of tomatoes in here, so we'll go ahead and pick those after I finish doing this overview. Down here is our urine plant, and you can see... Here's the urine plant up to here. See how much taller it is than that plant. These are on the same level. It's on the level. So this plant, it's this is also quite a bit greener. It, it's not getting that yellowing as much, but it is getting some and browning, right? It does have quite a bit of uh, fruit on it as well. I've had to tie this one up because it was so floppy. Um, but I'm also seeing blooms and it's continuing to grow in height as well as producing flowers and fruit, which is awesome. Love that. Here is the tomato plant with the wood ash and urine. It is uh, also looking very good. Not quite as tall. The urine is the clear winner. Not quite as tall, but still doing well. We still have some blooms and we have quite a bit of fruit. So. I'm um, going to go ahead and let's just pick all this fruit now and put it in a little basket so you can uh, take a look at each one of those in front. And I am weighing the fruit and keeping a running tally because you see me out here right now coming to pick fruit, but I do pick fruit throughout the week. And when I pick from one bush, I check all the bushes and then I'll keep that in a running tally. So anyway, here we go. Okay, you guys, so now I've picked the tomatoes that are ripe from each plant. So here's my control, nada. Here's my commercial. Some fuzzies in there. Oh, just maybe a bump. Oh, that one's not right. That one is uh, the bottom of the thing, but I'll weigh this. Here is urine, which is about a third full, and then urine with wood ash is more than half full. So. We will take these up to the table and weigh them and add it to our running tally. And now, sorry for the spin, we finally have peppers ready to be picked. So let's talk about peppers. All right, so here's our control pepper. We're starting to want to root from the bottom, which is a good sign. I have several good looking peppers here. You can see that the leaves are kind of yellowish compared to, well, I'll just pluck one of these off. This is the control. And you can see the difference in the color of the leaves. We have one, two, three, four, five, six peppers. Looking good. Um, this pepper plant has most of the peppers. There's a second plant in here which only has one. Again, I really wish one of these days I'm going to have to see if I can save a plant by starting to fertilize it. All right, so here we have our control, which is loaded with peppers. Uh, we have two plants in each container, lots and lots. We have a bunch ready to be picked. The red ones are ready to be picked, so I'll pick those and put them into the containers like I did with the tomatoes. We have uh, more even in the urine. Um, plant, you can see the urine only is significantly taller than the control. Again, a let's take a look at this. It's a darker green. 
the leaves are. And I think overall it's by far the healthiest plant. This is urine with wood ash. Again, lots and lots of peppers. Not quite as tall, right? Actually, you know, it's like five inches difference. Um, that's a sunflower. <laughs> sunflower sharing the pot. So we'll go ahead and pick these peppers. Overall, every plant looks really great. One thing I do want to point out is somehow we have another green chili that has invaded this particular pot with the uh, urine and wood ash. I think I have three different plants in here. I'll count and see, and maybe I'll divide. Well, if I only have two plants, I think I'll count them. But anyway, we'll take a look um, when I pick them. And overall, again, I think the urine by itself is doing the best. I think urine by itself is doing the best on everything except, no, on everything across the board. Commercial and urine with wood ash, close second. But um, let's see, for the peppers, I think urine with wood ash is better than the commercial. And that's a miracle Grow, -Grow product I'm using. And see the tomatoes. No, urine with wood ash is better on the tomatoes, right? Because we have more tomatoes there. And then with the tomatillos, it's just the plain urine. So anyway, let's get to picking some peppers, and then we'll go to the table and weigh. So I'm having kind of a hard time taping the tomatillos, and that is because yesterday we destroyed two wasp nests, or hornets, I can't tell the difference. And they've set up somewhere in here... I don't know where, but every time I go out into where the tomatillos are, I get attacked. And I've already been stung once in the face and several times on the legs. So, sorry guys, I'm going to need to track these suckers down and kill them. So until that time, we'll, we can go weigh the tomatillos I picked. But from a distance, there's your control, commercial, the urine, and then this one over here is the urine with wood ash. This one has always been kind of a spindly long guy, and so I finally had to put him in a little uh, container, a bigger container. Just I put the pot in there, so the pot is the same size, but I put it in one of my old canning vessels to keep it upright. It kept falling over. Um, overall, I think the plants are on the way out. They are not looking the best, but as always, the control is tiny. The commercial is doing okay. The urine by itself, I think, is the tallest. Urine with wood ash is the widest. Um, but this one seems to be having a problem with leaf curl. It's producing fruit. These are all blossoms that are going to be coming on. So we talked about this a little bit in the last video. I think that the control and the commercial plants are just going through their lives more quickly and the uh, urine and urine with wood ash will go through their lives um, over a longer period of time, but we'll, we'll see. Actually, it looks kind of good in here. So I went through and I picked the tomatillos that were ready to be picked, but you can tell there's still, um, still a lot of tomatillos on the plants uh, that will be coming up for ripeness, but um, it is kind of surprising to see how many tomatillos I got off the urine as opposed to the other plants. So let's go take a look. So check it out. So here's the control, one little container full, not bad. Commercial, uh, one little container full, not too bad. Urine, four containers. And then here's the urine with wood ash. This, I think the urine and the urine with wood ash or the urine and the urine with wood ash by far have the most tomatillos still on the plants to ripen. But I think the urine is a clear winner here. So let's let's pull out all the fruit and let's take a look at it. Okay, so here's the control. Tomatillo, hot peppers, tomatoes, commercial, tomatillo, hot pepper, tomato, tomatillos. There were two plants in there. Um, one of them is, I think, uh, well, it's supposed to be a green chili, but I think it's a serrano. I am, no, it's not a serrano. I don't know what kind of chili this is. Uh, if you know, let me know. Um, but together, this makes one plant, so I'm going to just count these two together. 
And then, of course, there's the uh, tomatoes from urine. And then with wood ash, wood ash, and wood ash. So I think overall the urine's doing best, except for with the tomatoes. And I think the urine with wood ash is doing better there. But um, the peppers might be close. So let's let's measure this all out. Let's take a look at what we're doing here. Okay, you guys, so I went inside the house, did some math. And this is year to date. Year to date. Tomatillos, and this is all that I've picked, you know, for the control commercial urine and, and wood ash. So in first place is urine with wood ash. All to date, almost 1,700 grams. Second place, urine at 1,446. Third place commercial was 730 and Tomatillo uh, control 475, so in fourth, a solid fourth place. Peppers barely started picking those. Uh, definitely in first place is the urine. Uh, second place is the with wood ash. Third is commercial 123 grams and Tomatillo fourth at 90, excuse me, uh, <laughs> control fourth at 93. And let's look at where's my tomato. Tomato. Okay. So the control on the tomato is only 66. Commercial 367. Urine 378. 483 for the wood ash. So wood ash is number one. Second place, you know, 378 to 367. That's almost a toss up, but technically urine is in second. Commercial third. And, uh, fourth is control. So year to date, that's where we are. This is going to wrap up the sep or August video. So the next videos you'll see will be for September. So special shout out to James, cat lover, cat lover James. James, you know who you are. He's been a huge support in this project, constantly um, checking in, asking questions, and being an overall um, advocate. So, James, thanks for watching, and uh, check out his channel, you guys. Thanks for watching again. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.